You don't need to be horror to be horrifying. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest TV characters from non-horror shows. Don't tell anybody. We're taking a look at the scariest television characters from outside of the horror genre. That means that Hannibal Lecter will not be joining us for dinner. Also, spoilers ahead. Let's get to it. Should I cough? I think you already have. Number 10, The Client, The Mandalorian. A former member of the Galactic Empire, this unnamed man, known only as the Client, hires the series' titular bounty hunter to retrieve an alien child. Grief Karga said you were coming. Although not particularly threatening on his own, the Client's command over stormtroopers, his casual disregard for the child's life, and actor Werner Herzog's distinctive voice make every encounter between him and the Mandalorian full of menace. How uncharacteristic of one of your reputation. You have taken both commission and payment. Is it not the code of the guild that these events are now forgotten? Sure, we can all relate to him when he says he wants to see what the internet has lovingly dubbed Baby Yoda, but the way he says it is just so dang creepy. I would like to see the baby. Number nine, Borg, the Star Trek franchise. They swarm through our system. When they left, there was little or nothing left of my people. One of the most terrifying villains in the Star Trek universe, the Borg aim to assimilate various species and their technology into their hive mind through their own technology. Apparently the Borg have developed the technology to link artificial intelligence directly into the humanoid brain. Astounding. On both a conceptual and practical level, these cybernetic beings are horrific. The idea that they've become consumed by their technology taps into a very real and present fear in the modern world, and the loss of individuality of those converted is painful to contemplate. Within the franchise, the Borg are almost unstoppable. Their general lack of free will means they can't really be reasoned with, and their adaptive technology and collective memory allows them to recover from damage quickly. Furthermore, they rarely make the same mistake twice. You are small and you think in small terms. Number eight, Homelander, The Boys. You boys okay? What if Superman was evil? This question has been asked many times over the years, but few answers have been quite as interesting as Homelander. Raised from birth to be the perfect patriotic hero of America, Homelander may come across as wholesome as apple pie, but underneath lies a cold, unfeeling soup. Homelander is incredibly cavalier with his powers, often causing the deaths of innocents or killing needlessly. Anthony Starr's intense performance is magnetic, while the fact that no one seems to be able to stop Homelander makes every second that the character is on screen a tense one. Homelander might stand for the American way, but truth and justice aren't even in his vocabulary. The righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance, and he will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Number seven, Gemma Teller Morrow, Sons of Anarchy. Men might dominate this list, but the Sam Crow matriarch certainly earns her spot. <laughs> Who are you? Why'd you do that to me? <laughs> Gemma Teller Morrow is the mother bear to the chapter of the motorcycle club slash gang from which this series takes its name. Sure, the relationship she shares with her son Jax, the up-and-coming reluctant leader of the gang, is all kinds of creepy and Oedipal. But what makes Gemma truly scary is how manipulative she can be. He's a murderous traitor. And there's only one thing to do now, Jackson. For your father, your family, and your club. Much of the show's conflict is a result of her actions, from conspiring to murder her first husband, to ending the life of her daughter-in-law and blaming a rival gang. Plus, there's just no telling what she'll do. Who holds a baby at gunpoint? Honestly. What are you doing? Mom. Number six, Kilgrave, Jessica Jones. Most of these frightening characters get their hands dirty at some point, but Kilgrave doesn't have to. 
A mind-controlling supervillain, Kilgrave can make anyone do whatever he tells them to do, with one exception, those who underwent traumatic events and broke free of his abilities, notably Jessica Jones. Smile. Kilgrave's commands can range from petty requests for people to injure themselves to sadistic and cruel instructions for family members to kill one another, or even compelling women to be physical with him. Kilgrave is privilege taken to its most terrifying extreme. He always gets whatever he wants, and in rare cases where he's denied, the lengths he goes to are just as appalling. If Patsy or I ever hear from you or see you, see anyone who looks like you, she will slit her own throat. The ultimate contingency. Number 5. Arthur Mitchell, also known as the Trinity Killer. Dexter. As many people as Dexter Morgan, the serial killer protagonist of the series, has killed, Arthur Mitchell is even more prolific. Trinity's likely someone who's gone his own solitary way through life, so preoccupied with his own obsessions that he's foregone all but the most rudimentary of human connections. Despite being an apparently normal family man, Mitchell, who is arguably Morgan's greatest foe, has killed hundreds of people over the course of 30 years in a ritualistic reenactment of his family's deaths, which he caused either directly or indirectly. Also, his psychopathic behavior isn't limited to murder. Mitchell terrorizes and controls his wife and children, veering wildly between cold anger and overt cheeriness at home. I know who you really are. Oh, who am I? You're a killer. Disturbing Dexter Morgan is no small feat, but with his erratic personality and propensity for both physical and emotional cruelty, Arthur Mitchell is a serial killer cut from a different cloth. Hello, Dexter Morgan. Number 4. Tony Soprano – The Sopranos Tony Soprano may be the protagonist of the show that bears his family's name, but that does not make him a hero. While frequently relatable and a loving if far from perfect family man, Tony is also a violent mobster, which the show never lets us forget. Although he naturally performs many of the usual hits against threats to his criminal enterprise, or else orders them done by others, Tony has also impulsively ended the lives of several people close to him for slights both large and small. What are you saying? You think I had something to do with it? I didn't. As entertaining and fascinating as his story is, we certainly do not envy his friends and family. I gotta sit down. I feel like I can't stand. Is that okay, Tony? Number 3. Vernon Schillinger – Oz Don't let the fact that he's played by J.K. Simmons lull you into a false sense of security. This guy is a monster. Livestock. That's what you are. My livestock. Because now, Tobias, your ass belongs to me." The leader of the Aryan Brotherhood inside Oswald State Correctional Facility's experimental Emerald City unit, Schillinger is a serial rapist who often turns his fellow inmates into slaves, frequently taking pleasure in degrading them. A complex character full of contradictions, his ardent homophobia for instance, Schillinger is also willing to stoop to seemingly any low, including ordering the death of his own son. As such, it's fitting that such a theatrical villain meets his end during a production of Shakespeare. <laughs> Number 2. Ramsay Bolton – Game of Thrones as terrifying as the existential dread that the Night King inspires is, we elected to discuss a far more human evil from Game of Thrones. Ramsay Snow slash Bolton is a bastard, in every sense of the word. Nicholas, you forgot to ask one question. You forgot to ask if I'm a liar. A sadistic sociopath, Ramsay revels in tormenting people in cruel and unusual ways, from hunting and or feeding them to his dogs, to sexually assaulting them, to just plain torture. Ramsay is an absolute nightmare, both for the people he torments and for the audience. Not even familial bonds mean anything to him, since he kills his own father, stepmother, and baby half-brother. Ramsay, <coughs> he's your brother. I prefer being an only child." Westeros is home to countless ugly and irredeemable characters, but Ramsay is arguably the one we'd be most scared of meeting, which is really saying something. 
Ramsay Bolton is the kind of character that sends shivers down your spine, but our number one pick would have even him running for the hills. Before we get there, here are some honorable mentions. You were the stubborn one. You stuck with that quack. Please don't call him that. He's the only real parent I ever had. A quack for a quack. Quack, 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 quack. No, I wouldn't. It would be shit. The doctor refuses to induce. There's nothing we can do but wait for the baby to come. Do you really think so? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Gustavo Gus Fring – Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul the owner of the chicken restaurant Los Pollos Hermanos, Gustavo Fring presents himself in public as a friendly businessman, but in private, he's the calculating head of a drug empire. Frequently cold and unemotional, Gus is a brilliant, patient, and cautious criminal who is utterly merciless when it comes to his enemies. I will kill your wife. I will kill your son. I will kill your Actor Giancarlo Esposito gives such a subtle performance that when Gus does or says something frightening, it becomes that much more terrifying due to the contrast with the character's usual behavior. Whether he's exacting his long-awaited revenge on his foes or sending a message by killing someone, Gus is one of the scariest characters on TV. Period. Look at me. From now on, you are mine. I don't know about you guys, but Gustavo Fring is not someone I'd like to get to know. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM and check out this video.